All right, I'm going to show you how to check your homework um, or that's part of the textbook. Um, in the Civ Public, I showed you uh, um, the program that goes with the elementary surveying book, which is our surveying book, and it's called Elementary Surveying, or it's Wolfpack. So I actually put it on my computer at home since I can't put it on the computers at, at school. So I'm going to launch it. And we're actually going to check um, problem or example 24-1 in your textbook, which is on page 723. So go to Programs and Curve Computations, and I'm going to do the horizontal one first. And typically it's called Staking Notes. All right, so I'm just going to call it example 24-1. All right, so they gave us I for that problem, and it was eight degrees, 24 minutes. If it gave you seconds, then you would put that in there. It, give, it gave us the curve radius, so I'm gonna go ahead and type it in. And now, if it didn't give me the radius, and maybe it gave us I and D, or, you know, or some other variables that you could just change it out and put in what they give you. Um, if I if it's arc definition, which is your highway or chord definition, you would you know choose that here or there. So this is arc. It's English units, and I'm looking at this um, in the book. And as I'm looking at the PC, the actually the curve goes to the right. So I'm going to put right. Um, it get, they gave us the PI. And that problem, the PI was 64. And you can go ahead and put the plus in. Plus 2546. And this would be if I wanted to put, um, if we wanted to go 50 feet or 100 feet. So we're doing 100, one station. And... I'm going to go ahead and say total chords because actually it'll give us all the information. It'll give us LDT, PCPT. Um, I typically do, I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to ask me what the file is. So, I, and I had already did this once. So I'm going to do chapter. I'm just going to call it revise. And when it does, it's going to, it'll give you the, the, ans the information. So it actually gave me the curve length. And if I look in the book, L was 420. It gave me T at 210.38, which is correct. It gave me um, circular long cord. And that's what the book has. It gave us M. E, it gave us PC, and if you'll look, this same chart, which is on page 728 of your book. So, of course, all the stuff we did by hand, you see that you can check your work. And you could print it if you wanted to. Alright, so now I'm going to do one with vertical curves. So it's going to be a vertical and I'm going to do curve stakeout. And this one's a little more tough. So I'm going to call this one chapter 25. Right. So now it's ready for me. So I'm going to flip into just the example that I went over for you in or online, which is example 25 one. All right, so I'm going to call this chapter 25, example 1. And this was the equal tangent, so you see you have different choices. So if I had two different unequal curves, we could do it then. Um, so this problem, it wanted them every 100 feet. 
Um, G1 was 3. G2 is a negative 2.4. Um, the length of it, I'm going to put it in 600 feet because it didn't say stations. Um, the P, it, this is actually VPI is your V station. That would be 46 plus 70. And the elevation should be 853.48. Alright, so I'm going to check and see if this works out. If I look in the book, and this is page 764. Yep, all that's the same. So that's how you can check your work um, just that quick. So that's a quick demonstration on how to check your homework. Um, if you got questions, you can ask me in class when we come in on Monday. Have a good weekend.